everyone how are you all i hope you are doing extremely good so today let's solve this problem count symmetric integers from the lead code contest it is an easy problem and you can find various solutions if you go to the solution step you can find so many solutions where they will optimize the code but in this video i will explain like even the new boys like who started lead code recently they can understand the code like i will break down the code into very simpler terms so that you can understand it very easily so please watch the video till the end so if you are a pro like if you are like medium level of coder so this solution may be that not that efficient for you but if you are a beginner so this will definitely help you so first let's understand this question you are given two integers low and high so i will give low and i will give high and integer x consisting of 2 into n digits is symmetric if the sum of the first n digits of x is equal to the sum of last n digits it is saying that if you have 1 2 3 1 2 3 saying that first x digits sum should be equal to the last x digits sum then we can say that it is in symmetric and numbers with an odd number of digits are never symmetric suppose 1 2 3 4 5 so if you see this is odd symmetric so if you you can't break down such that uh, the numbers towards the left and numbers towards the total numbers towards the right are equal. So we will say that it can't never be symmetric. And we need to return the number of symmetrics from low to high. Low to high, here you are given 10 power 4. So you can do it in order of n. So let's see how we will solve this problem. So if you say this, uh, what I will do, I will iterate from 1 to low to high, low to high for every character for every character i will calculate the first step is i will calculate the number of digits if the digits are even if the digits are even we will continue if the digits are odd even we will compute if it is odd we will continue we will say we don't require it so here if you see j is greater than 0 and we are calculating if it is even then we will say continue i don't require or else we will say compute then we got we got the answer now j is equals to i from there we are starting we will go to c by 2 suppose uh, if the total number of digits are 10 i will go to 0 1 2 3 and 4 till 4 I will go and I will calculate how many digits are there s is less than c by 2 and I am calculating a is equals to a plus j percentile 10 for every digit from if this is a total if j percentile 10 means we will get this digit and we are getting j is equals j by 2 then it will deduct it to this set and we are incrementing the s this is a we are storing in a then after calculating for the first 5, we need to calculate for the next 5, right? We should calculate for the next 5. We are performing the same operations. S is less than C, not less than C by 2. Because here till here we went till the half. Now we are going for the second half. And we will calculate in the B. If these both are equal, we will increment the answer and we will return it. So I think you have understood this solution. What would be the time complexity? Order of N and at the each position total digits are uh, till 10 power 4 we can say 10 power 4 how many times it will iterate 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 into order of 10 power 4 so we can say that it sits order of 10 power 4 or order of n so i think you have understood this solution if you understood this please like and do subscribe to my channel and thank